everybody and welcome back to the organizing tip of the day. Today we are doing the toddler's closet or nursery closet. Um, I'm doing this now actually because we're no longer going to have a nursery next month. We're switching her to a big girl bed as soon as I can get her sleeping through the night. <laughs> Never ever ever put your little one in a big bed before she's sleeping through the night. Learn that lesson the first time around. So uh, yeah, I wanted to quickly show you some nursery tips while we still have a nursery. I'll start with the closet. Um, it's really the same, well there's a few different things. I'm sure you've seen these little tabs before. Uh, if you have a brand new baby, this is a great thing to use. You just label them um, the different sets of months. And the reason you want to do that, of course, is because you're going to have clothes all the way from zero to three, all the way up to size two probably for your shower gifts and people giving you gifts. So it's a great way of just throwing those up and then you'll always know the sizes. On we go. Just like in any other closet, you want to put the empty hangers all to one side. You want to do this in your closet as well. And that way when you're putting away laundry, you can just reach up and grab all the empty hangers, take it to where you're doing the laundry, put them on and then bring them all back instead of running back and forth finding hangers. It also just keeps your closet a lot more neat and organized. So the way I did the clothes was I did all the pants on one side that are single pants. Um, I went jeans together and then different clothes and then single long sleeves, single t-shirts. And then the difference between, of course, hold on a second. She's okay. Okay, the difference between kids, of course, and us are kids have a lot of like outfits that come together. And so I keep those together and I put those beside the singles. So you have single pants, long sleeves, t-shirts, and then outfits together that come with the pants or shorts. So I have them with like long sleeve pants and then I tra tra transition, sorry I can't talk, onto shorts. So because it's still spring, you know how we, we're doing it. You get it. You're not a moron. You totally get it. Okay. <laughs> On the bottom shelf, I keep all the sweaters together and you want to do that because if it is cold, you want to just be able to go in and grab a sweater. So sweaters go there and then I go into dresses. Now I have play dresses here that she can wear on the outside. outside for play and then I have her dressy dresses so it's going over this way into dressier dresses. Um, play dresses are excellent for little girls toilet training. You definitely want to toilet train in a dress um, because you can have them naked underneath and they don't look naked underneath. Toilet training um, with nothing on underneath or underwear instead of a diaper. Best, fastest way to toilet train. Wait till the summer, put your little one in a dress and take off her diaper. She'll be trained in less than a week, I guarantee it. So, I have lots of dresses on hand, play dresses. And on the bottom of the closet, because reaching up high was a lot, you change a lot of sheets and bedding. So I have a basket here with all her easy to access bedding. Because it is a small room, I keep it in there, I can just reach and grab. And then I keep blankets I use less often at the top of her closet. I also have a spot for shoes. This is her new cornice for her big girl room that's going to hold her beautiful canopy and some other little special things on the top of her closet. I take the diapers out of boxes and I put those on the bottom, extra wipes go in the bottom of the closet, and of course her diaper bag. Going really fast. Last tip for a nursery. It's a must, it's a must have. You ready for this? Underneath the bed, underneath the crib, or if you have a big room in your closet, if you have a big closet, you must, must, must have a no longer fit me bin. And you can tell it's not even <laughs> folded or anything. So why you want this is because your kids grow fast and they outgrow clothes fast and you often, if you're keeping them in your closet, that's a waste of space and it's a waste of your time because you're pulling stuff out that doesn't fit. You don't want to throw it on the floor. You want to have an ongoing bin underneath. You can tell mine's full. It's time to donate it or sell it on Kijiji or take it to a consignment shop, whatever you do. But the important thing is you always, always, always must have an ongoing bin because at least once a week you're going to find something your kid has outgrown and it'll be clutter if it's in the corner. That's your tip of the day. See you next time.